check this out. Indian coffee house, guys. Green coconut, sweet water, click it. Very good. Thank you. Very good. Thank, Thank you. you. Here, I have to do this. <laughs> I guess I'm holding two things here. The book market. Got, so I got the ice cold coffee over here. And then I got this called Pakoda. Hello everyone, welcome to another beautiful day here in India. So currently I'm in Kolkata and I want to show you the world's largest secondhand book market. Yes, so they have many books over here. A lot of Indians like to read. A lot of books in English, a lot of books in uh, Hindi. You see, very loud, very lively over here, as always here in India. So uh, yeah, so let me show you the secondhand book market and then after that we are going to go on a journey to uh, Indian Coffee House which is very famous here in India. So let's show you how it is. So let's use the camera and show you how it is. Okay. 30 rupees. Yeah, I know 30, 30, 40 rupees. This one? 40 rupees. Yeah, 40 rupees. But I want, I want a nice fresh one. Can you cut it? Yeah, I want him. Yeah. Cut him. So right now we're gonna have some coconut juice. Let me show. Let me see how he does it. The professional. Yes, uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Let's try out this coconut juice. That was really fast. The guy was just like, yeah, yeah, have it. This is that. So I was like, might as well have it. Nice and refreshing coconut juice here in Kolkata. Only for 40 rupees. He said 40, 30 rupees. So, yes. Really nice. Very good. Yeah, very good. Yeah, it's nice. I like it. Kolkata, best coconut, right? Coconut, coconut, chit water. Yeah. 40 rupees down. 40 rupees, okay. 40 rupees. Green coconut, sweet water. Click it. Very good. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Here, I have to do this. <laughs> I guess I'm holding two things here. And the Hong country, Thailand. No, no, no. Uh, Thailand, you said? No, no, no. America, America, yeah. America, America. Yeah, America. It's friendly, America. Yeah. Well, look how many coconuts are on the ground, guys. So many. That guy is very friendly. Look how many coconuts, guys. So many different coconuts on the ground. That guy just has a big, a big knife just cutting all the coconut. It's very nice on a hot day like today. It's around like 100 degrees Fahrenheit, which is like 30 something Celsius. Very hot, very good to have refreshing coconut. Almost done. Oh, then I think if you want, he could also cut it for like the meat and stuff, but honestly, I don't want that, so... I'm finished, no more juice. Well, actually, there's a little more juice. Alright, let me just here, let me just give him back the coconut. Here, let's put it back over here. There we go. And then let's pay him 40 rupees. Yeah. 50 rupees? No, I don't want I just... No, 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 it's okay, I don't want it. No, 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 it's okay, really, I don't want I already finished. Jol -pul, jol -pul. Uh, no, I don't, I'm not gonna give him. America, America, Babo. Hey. Yeah. You said 40 rupees, I give you 50, okay? Okay. No, 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 it's okay, it's okay for you too. It's alright, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, boy. Bye bye. <laughs> that guy was very nice and very lively. It's a great start to the video, and he's a very good guy. I like it when they give me honest price. Honestly, if it's honest price, they give them a little bit like higher tip, you know? Because I always try to help out as much as I can. Well, it looks like they have another coconut stand over here. Alright, so let me put on my glasses. Because I always like to start off the video without my glasses. Because I don't really like wearing it, but it's better to see everything. Check this out. This is the book market, right? Book market of Kolkata. Huh? This one is the book market, book market. of Kolkata. Huh. Kolkata for college seat. Largest in the world? College seat, largest of second market. Second hand book market, largest in the world. Uh, okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so check it out guys. So you heard it from a local. World's second, uh, no sorry. World's biggest book market, but second hand books. So let's see what kind of books they have. 
Wow, all this, a lot of books. That's just curious, like, I want to see what kind of books they have. Elements of Physics. Hi, sir, how are you doing? So it seems like a lot of college texts over here. We have chemistry over here, physics, another physics book, science, math, elementary, biology. I heard they also have like fictional, non-fictional books too. So a lot of variety. Hello, how are you? Good. So I also heard Kolkata University. I looked on the map. Hi. No, I'm good. I'm, I'm not. No more. I'm not a student, so I don't need this. You have more. What kind of books you have? Uh, huh? Oh no, no, I'm finished with. It. No more students. I'm finished. No. But you see, they have like a book of India. So many, many of this is for university students. Yes. University. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Presidency University. Oh, for university students. Okay. I'm finished with the university, but thank you so much. Thank you. I have to watch out. <laughs> I have to watch it when I'm walking. A lot of people here. Check out the buses over here. There's a guy you see at the bus store. He's the one who collects all the money. And then people just hop on the bus. I then over there, and I believe, I don't know what language it is, but uh, it's either in Hindi or Bengali. They, uh, they will uh, see what stops are on the bus. Literally, you just jump on. Hop on and hop off bus. A lot of knowledge over here, guys. Let's see, yeah, so far I'm just looking at like academic books. I'm not really looking at like uh, some other like fictional, non-fictional. Your body, they have books also in different languages. Mostly, I see it's in English or in Hindi or in Bengali. But honestly, I cannot differentiate what's the difference between Hindi and Bengali. The book market. Okay. Oh, that's a good look. He has other books over here. You are a badass. Last, her, her last wish. You guys can see for yourself. All right, so over here seems like this bookseller over here has a lot of like, you can see. Wow. He even has new books too. I have a lot of different books. Excuse me, sir, I was wondering how much are like this kind of book? How much is it? 200. 200? 200. Oh, okay. Oh, it's, oh, it's 500? 200. 200. 200. Oh, okay, nice. I'm just, I'm just looking right now. The power of the conscious mind. Really cool. Nice book market. How about like this one? This one is also 200 too? So everything 200. Okay. All right, thank you. So 200 rupees. You're probably wondering how much that is. So one dollar USD equals 82 rupees. So 200 would be approximately two dollars and 30 cents, which is very reasonable. And you can see it looks like they have, from what I've seen, like some of those books look like they're in great condition. It could even be new. So for two dollars and 30 cents is very reasonable. And if you're a book lover too, please smash the like button. But yeah, that's amazing. Like I really, I'm not into books so much. Plus I'm traveling, so I only have my luggage. So I can't carry too many books with me, but I know some family members and some friends that love it. And I'm sure some of you guys are watching this video will love it too. Look at this. So this is the water over here. They're cleaning the dishes. I love it over here in India. You just see so many nice things, like so many different things. That's a thing. Like how they live life over here is completely different how I live life, where I'm from. But it's nice. It's nice to see, definitely. I want to walk a little bit more. Oh look, we have a street vendor over here. Selling some lemon juice kind of thing. May have to try that later on. What is this place? I think this might be... Let me see. I think this might be the university. I'm not sure. I'm going to ask real quick. The security. Hi. Hi. I'm just wondering, is this the Kolkata University? No. Presidency University. Pres where's the Kolkata University? This way. This way, straight? Yes, right. This is another university. Different university, yeah? Yes, sir. Okay, cool. Thank you. I two minutes. Two minutes? Okay. Show me, sir. Here you go. All right, straight to the right? All right, thank you. Thank you, guys. Okay. Well, I guess it's called Kata University. is two minutes that way. But you know what? There's a lot of people over here. So let's go towards the street because all the people are walking on the street, too. Which you might not think it's very safe, but I think it's okay. Not so many cars. <laughs> all these motorcycles here parked in the street it'd be better if they had like a parking structure i think but it's all right 
Oh, we got the rickshaw guys. And that, I don't know what video I want to place in, but I, I took a rickshaw ride with one of these guys. Very nice. It was fun, actually. That's the Kolkata taxi. Mohini. I'm not sure what this advertisement's about. Uh, what does it say? Hari School, Government West of Bengal. Started in 1818. Wow, that's uh, old school. Well, I do want to show you guys the coffee house too. So I think I know the coffee house for me looking on the map was somewhere over there. Hmm. What should I do? Should we go to the university? I think the university is going to have to wait. And plus, I don't know, like, they're going to see, the security's going to see me with the camera. I don't know if that's going to work. Let's first go to the coffee. Actually, hey, let's walk a little bit further. Let's walk one minute towards this way. If we still don't see the university, then we might have to change that up. We have all these different means of transportation, guys. We have a taxi. Got some guy in a rickshaw. This is a fruit seller over here. Motorcycle. Nice mangoes and grapes and stuff. So interesting. Over, oh, wow, it's so loud. So what I've been seeing is a lot of people here in Kolkata are also in India. Boy. Hi, sir, how are, you? how are you doing? Good? Well, you just have academic books? Academic books. Oh, okay. Well, I, I don't need it right now, but yeah, it's nice to see. H how many years have you been open? Huh? 10.30, okay. Nice. All right, cool. Thank you. It's hard for him to hear me and plus, uh, maybe he doesn't know how to speak English so well. But yeah, okay. These are the academic books and it seems like there's a large building over here. That might be the university. Let's continue. YouTuber, yeah. <laughs> hey, excuse me. Uh, Kolkata University is what way? Is it this building, Kolkata University, or no? Wait a second. Oh, you're not local? I am, but I'm not. Oh, you're, oh okay. Because right now I'm recording a video and I want to show my friends the area. This yeah. one is. This, this one is. Yeah. Okay, cool. And you know how to. Okay. I'll, I'll look around and see. I'm trying to think how to enter the university. Uh, this, way. this way, straight. And then maybe right. It's okay. Oh, you see this way? Okay, we're gonna go this way. Alright, thank you. Okay. So, to enter Kolkata University, it seems like it's this way. Checking the audio, looks good. Man, I actually recorded one video here in Kolkata that part of the video, the audio was not working. So I really have to be careful sometimes when I record because this microphone just does come in handy, especially here in Kolkata where it's very noisy. So yeah, because I want to just make sure you guys are having a crisp audio from me. Hmm. Seems like we're going to have to walk a bit. These guys are just chilling. So many different bookstores. Well, I guess this is the world's largest secondhand book market. But if this is the world's largest secondhand book market, where's the world's largest firsthand book market? Amazon? I know online is obviously Amazon, has to be Amazon. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. This looks like an entrance. If this is not an entrance, guys, we're gonna have to turn back. And yeah, okay, so this is the University of Kolkata. Right here. College Street Campus. That's a big gate. Hmm. You know what, let's walk one more minute, and then if I can't find it, we'll head back and go towards the Indian coffee shop. And I heard that Kolkata University is like one of their oldest universities or the oldest university here in Kolkata. So it's cool just to see. And you can even see like the building over here. 
Let's pause real quick. Uh, you can see it's like a colonial, old style British building in the colonial area. So th this is Kolkata University, right? Yeah. You know from yeah, what yeah, year? Huh? Is, is this the best university in Kolkata? No. Number one? No, 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 not number one. Not number one? Number two? <laughs> one more university of... Oh, there's another one? Yes, yes, yes. Another one is Central Avenue. Central Avenue, okay. But, but yeah? One more university. Ah, okay. But how do you enter? Do you know how you go inside? Under uh, Inside. Yeah? Oh. And then turn right. Oh, okay. So over here there's no entrance? No, no, no. No, okay. All right, thank you so much. Okay. Okay, guys. Well, they said, I don't know, I'm sure you guys paid attention earlier in the video. They said this way is the entrance. But now he's going to go straight and go right. So it seems like it's going to be a hassle just getting around this university. But here's the University of Kolkata. I don't know much, I should have done my research a little bit before what I told you guys, but you'd see it's such a gigantic university. Well, that's that. Now, guys, I want to meet you back at the street because it's going to be like maybe like a few minute walk. So let me go back to the street and I will see you there. All right, guys, we are back on the main street, the Call Street. So this street where we're on right now is called Call Street. So, and this is the main street over here. But I know if I go towards my right, I'm going to find the Indian coffee house. And that was like the second thing I want to show you in the video. Hopefully, if it's not too crowded, I don't know if it's going to be crowded or not. Maybe we go inside and have something to drink. Uh, look at this. Someone's saying something off of a loudspeaker. They have a loudspeaker over here. Okay, the lady is quiet right now. Where? Yeah, there's a loudspeaker right there. Okay. You heard the Indian coffee house is just on our right. Oh, look at this, guys. Non-stop people are moving over here. I feel like the city never sleeps or something. Like, or at least during the day, it's so busy. Okay. Wild animals. Oh, they even have things for little kids, too. It's cool. It has it in English and then uh, Hindi or Bengali. My coloring vegetables, cool, a lot of kids books as well. Yeah. Okay. Well, three people on that motorcycle. And three people on this motorcycle too. Interesting, I'm surprised the motorcycle could uh, support that much weight. All right, this is the Indian coffee house. Let's enter. I hope I can find a seat. I'd like to sit down and eat and show you guys the menu. If not, we might just have to like skim around, check it out a bit, and then afterwards, uh, maybe get something else. I don't know, maybe get something like some different street food or something. I don't know, we'll see. Well, I'm just noticed. Actually, let's go back down real quick. Something I just noticed that I did not see is like they have a lot of signs over here. Check out the communal rioters. They have a lot of different signage over here. Art, music, cinema will destroy the fascist regime. So this whole coffee house, I just want to give you like a little idea of like the coffee house. So it's a very old coffee house. They had it since like the British times. Hi sir, how are you? You good? The guy was just staring. Anyways. So back to the story. So this coffee house, what I heard online, what I read is there's a lot of intellectual people, a lot of college students. It's because like politics and religion over here. And it's been here since like the British era, since the British were here. I'm not sure exactly what date that it started, but it's very famous here. It's like the most famous coffee house over here. And this is the timings. 12 a.m. to 8 p.m. And Sunday, 12 a.m. to 8 p.m. All right, same timings for every day. Check this out. Indian coffee house, guys. Okay, so it seems very crowded. There isn't any seats to be sitting on, unfortunately. And check out the, yo, check out the waiters, what they're wearing on their head. 
these hats and stuff. Traditional, some traditional headgear. Really cool place. And then it looks like they have an upstairs over here. So let's go on the upstairs level and see how it is. Hi, how are you guys? Good? Okay, so let's yeah, go upstairs. Maybe we could find some more seats to sit down on. I don't know, it seems really crowded. And I heard something about it too is the prices here are very reasonable and uh, you're allowed to stay here for a long time too. So if you just order and you can stay here for like two hours, three hours, they don't care. Like just, you know, just as long as you're cool, they're cool with you. You don't, like some restaurants will force you to leave. Oh man, that was MTC. Uh, this is the upstairs of the Indian coffee house. Trying to skim the area, see if there's any empty seats. Doesn't look like it, guys. Oh man, it sucks. I really wanted to try it out. And it'd probably be a long time to wait, I'm guessing. All right, this lady seems like she's leaving. Hi, are you leaving? Or you're, are you leaving? Oh, okay. Thank you. It's so hard to find a seat over here. Okay, let's check out the menu, guys. So it looks like I did find a seat. So here, Indian, uh, what is it? Indian Coffee Workers Cooperative Society Limited, Indian Coffee House. So let me show you the menu real quick, guys. So the coffee, we get special coffee for 60 rupees, hot coffee, special cold coffee. I need pakoda. Oh, I love pakodas. I might have to get some pakoda. Paneer pakoda. Paneer pakoda is cheese pakoda. That seems good too. Oh my god. Some omelets, mutton, fish fry, Chinese. Nice. I think I'm going with a special coffee maybe. Special coffee, cold coffee. A lot of cool things guys. But well, anyways, I'm just gonna be sitting down over here, relaxing, and let me show you one more glimpse of the area. This is the area, and yeah, so we'll, we'll see how it is. Once I order my food, or once I start ordering, I'll turn on the camera. Hi sir. Uh, can I get one uh, onion pakoda? Onion pakoda and uh, special cold coffee. So one special cold coffee. Yeah, special coffee. Yeah, special cold, cold. Ah, special cold. And then uh, one uh, onion pakoda. They're trying to intercept my ordering process. Okay, and then onion pakoda. One special cold. Yeah. And one onion pakoda. Yes. Acha. Yes. Yeah, that's it. That's good. Thank you. I, lo I love the thing he's wearing, it looks kind of cool. And, and if you're Indian, you have to tell me uh, what kind of special outfit he's wearing. And can you guys hear me? It's like very loud over here. I can barely hear myself talk. Well anyways, we just ordered, so I'll show you the food once it arrives. All right, so I just got my food. I'm excited. It took like around like 20, 25 minutes. It was kind of long, but just look around me. Some people joined me on the table. But you can see it's very crowded. A lot of people are just standing up, waiting for tables. So I'm just lucky to find this table. And something just fell on my head, like just before I started recording. And I don't know if you guys can see just like the top right corner over here. It's kind of small on the screen. There is a lizard. <laughs> I think just like threw something on my head. Anyways, let me show you what I got. So I got the ice cold coffee over here. Here. And then I got this called Pakoda. This is very famous here in India and I believe in some other countries too, maybe like Nepal and maybe, I don't know, Bangladesh and Pakistan. Let's try the Pakoda. What the hell did the lizard just drop? Like something else just dropped on me. There's, well, I don't know, I feel like things are dropping from, from the top or I don't know what, what's happening. Anyways, let's eat this Pakoda. Just gonna try it out. So it looks like the inside, very crunchy. 
They may fry it a little bit too much. It's a little bit too dark of a brown color. But it's onion flavor, which I love. Try one bite. One more bite. Chili sauce makes it spicy. If you're wondering what is pakoda, it's deep fried onions with some batter. And they fry it. It's really nice. And it deep fried onions with some batter. I hope I described it right. Anyways, now here's the iced coffee. Let's try it out. Smash. That's some strong, nice coffee, it's sweet. They put some milk in it. I just ordered the coffee, so I didn't know how they're gonna put it. So I guess you have to tell them exactly what kind of coffee you want. So it's sweet coffee. I believe they put condensed milk inside of it. And it's strong and it's actually really nice. Surprise. Well, it, this is one of India's like oldest coffee houses to expect it to be like this. We'll try out more of this pakoda. Do you want me ask, do, you, do, you, do you want do you want this? Are you sure? Do you want? Okay. I'm trying to offer because I feel like it's rude. I usually don't like to eat in front of people. But it's so packed that you kind of, I don't know, have to eat in front of people. I didn't even know they were gonna join me on the table. We poured them another family right next to me joined me on the table. Well, anyways guys, I'm gonna finish this up. And yeah, see you on the next shot. We just finished the food. Koda was delicious and also the coffee was really good too. I can actually go for another one, but it's, it's nighttime right now, so yeah. Anyways, let's go up and pay the bill. I'm amazed how crowded this place is, right guys? Oh, they also have the mini over here too, it looks like. Where are you from? Huh? Where are you from? I am from America. America? Yeah. Where are you from? I am from Calcutta. You're from Calcutta? Nice. I stayed over here. Oh, you stay over here? Yeah. So, uh, is this your favorite coffee house to go to? Yes, I used to come every uh, one or two weeks. One or two weeks? He, uh, right now I'm recording. I want to ask you, why is this so famous? So famous is uh, because of the uh, it's a heritage, one of the most heritage. heritage and uh, yeah, you can spend a lot of time okay. with your friends, with your relatives, with your old friends, like that. Alright, and, and what, do you know what year it started? Started is the uh, year Babugat, I think. No, like the year this place started, what year? No, I don't know. Oh, you don't know? Yeah. Okay. Nice. The food looks good. Like, even though I don't know what they're eating right now, but it looks... Have you tested over here? I, had, I just had Pakota. Pakora? Pakora. Yeah, pakora, uh, onion Chicken flavor. Pakora. The onion flavor pakora. Oh, and then okay. also, uh, what was it? It was special white, no, sorry, special coffee. Cold coffee. Cold coffee. Last me half. Last me bit is there. Beach me. Thank you. I love, I love the outfit. Look at this, guys. Well, anyways, yeah, I'm just going to go and pay for the bill. I don't know how long it's going to take me, guys, so I don't want you guys to keep on waiting. Like, I was very friendly. Like, this one, how much? 132. 132, okay. Is this mine? 42. 32 or 42? 122. 122, okay. Sorry, sometimes it's hard to understand. All right, got my money, so I'm paying him. Here you go. Here's this. It's 122. I just gave him 525. All right, thank you. It's okay, it's, I don't know. Keep it for tip, I don't know. <laughs> Give him a few rupees tip. I, I don't I didn't even know if that was my server or not. He's kind of looking confused. But yeah, guys, it's the coffee house. We'll see a, a glimpse one more time. It's open till 8 o'clock in the night. Now let's get, out, get outside and see more of the life here in Kolkata. Oh, sorry. Let's go down real quick. I don't like to cut in front of people's photos, but sometimes here in Asia, so many people are just taking photos all the time. It's just kind of hard not to cut in someone's photos. Hello. You gotta wait. 
Now let's go. Something I've noticed in Kolkata, I know a lot of foreigners love to travel to India, which I do too, but I've noticed a lot of foreigners, uh, I don't see that many coming to Kolkata. I wonder why. Maybe it's not on the number one list, but it's a, it's a nice city. You just have to get used to it. This guy's selling a lot of snacks and drinks. Back to the streets of Kolkata. So this is how the book market looks at night time. Uh, I could go back that way, but I didn't show you. Let me just walk around a little bit more and show you the street and then, yeah. So this guy transporting books, it looks like. Yes, yeah, so this book market goes on for on and on. It's like it never stops. Man, it's so loud and then we have these loud speakers too. Amazing. Such a lively place. Alright guys. So this is the video. I hope you enjoyed it. So as always, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Hope you can hear me. And yeah, if you want to see more videos around the world, around India, or just click somewhere on the screen. Catch you later. Peace. Have a great day. Or a great night. Or a great afternoon. Bye-bye.